How terrifying is a head transplant? Before the surgery begins, doctors will put both the patient and the donor into a state of hypothermia to slow down their metabolism. Next, they will use a sharp scalpel to cut open the patient's neck skin, carefully severing the blood vessels before quickly connecting them to the donor's body. In addition, doctors will need to cut through the patient's spine, nervous tissue, and bones. Once the head is completely detached from the body, they will proceed with transplanting it onto the new body. This procedure is extremely demanding, requiring the reconnection of blood vessels and nerves within an hour. Otherwise, the brain will suffer from oxygen deprivation, ultimately leading to brain death. After these steps, the skin must also be sutured. However, the greatest challenge of a head transplant is not the surgical procedure itself, but whether the head will experience rejection from the new body afterward. So far, no successful human head transplant has been performed, but scientists have conducted countless experiments on mice and achieved significant progress. It is believed that in the near future, human head transplants will become a reality.